Hello and welcome to another Wilson 18 tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a bucket server on CentOS 6.5. Um, so this is going to be based on a VPS or a dedicated server of some kind, uh, whichever you use is completely up to you. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you need to SSH into our server. And um, just so you are aware, the guide we're going to be following is on wilson18.com and if you go to CentOS you should be able to see how to create a Minecraft bucket server, blah blah blah. So this is that guide you're going to want to follow, so you might want to bring it up just so you can copy and paste just in case that's needed. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so if you bring up your SSH connection, the first thing we're going to want to do is update the server. So we're going to do this by typing in yum hyphen y update. And what this is what the hyphen y does if you're interested, it just means it yeses to everything so instead of saying are you sure you'd like to update this it's just yes um, so that's what that does and once that's updated we're going to install a couple of applications so we're going to install java the open jdk we're going to install nano and we're going to install screen so while this is updating i'll pause the video and come back to you once it's done so to actually start the install what we're going to need to do is we're going to type in yum install hyphen y um, the Java application now on screen. So here it is. You can just go ahead and click enter again to install these, and it should be a bit quicker this time, which is good. And then once we're going to do that, now once we've done that, we're going to add two new users or one new user. Sorry. So the reason we need a new user is if you're going to actually use this, you don't want everything to be run by the root user because if someone gets into that, you're screwed. Um, so the way we're going to add a new user is just going to use the user add command to add a new user called MC Admin. Seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we're not actually going to be able to use this user unless we actually create a password for it. So the way we do this is type in P-A-W-S-W-D. So pass W-D. Um, and then the username. This will then ask you to select a password for the admin. So we can just go ahead and type in a password. Yeah, it's simple, but it doesn't matter. It's only used for this tutorial. I would recommend using a decent password, obviously. Um, but that's completely up to you how secure you want things to be. So what we're going to do is we're now going to switch to this user. We're it's only a temporary switch. We will be fully logging into that user in just a little while. But um, so let's switch to it. So the way we switch is we type su, which is switch user, and then the username we want to switch to. So MC admin. So as you can see, we're currently in the root home folder, which we don't have permission to actually use. Um, so what we want to do is we want to change the directory to home mc admin which is a home directory for the new user we just created we're then going to create a folder called minecraft and we're going to move into that folder so there we are so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to bucket um, dot org i believe which we can see here we then need to get bucket no doubt dl.bucket, oh yeah, that's just easy. So we need to go to dl.bucket.org, and I'll put this on full screen, and then we need to go to the actual version we want to download. So if you want to download load this one, which is the latest one, which is only 1.6.4, fair enough. The way you copy the URL for that, if you don't want to, or if you don't really know, you can right click it and just click copy link address, or you can download it and just do it that way, it's up to you. Um, or if you want a different version you can go ahead and grab a version from here so again right click not that right click copy link and if you go to it, it should look something like that but what I'm going to suggest is you paste it in the URL you don't go to it you just remove the S because while I've been doing the tutorials it's been giving me warning saying are you sure you want to trust this because this is not a trusted certificate and all that crap um, so if you just remove the S then it should work fine so what we want to do is we want to download this so the way we do that was type in wget uh, and then we can paste it in if you're not sure how to paste you can press the right mouse key
key and it should then paste it out. So make sure there isn't an S here. If there is, just backspace all the way to it and remove that. And then we can specify the output file name for this. So we can do hyphen and then capital O and then bucket.jar. And this will download it to that or to the current directory and call it bucket.jar. There we are. The next thing we need to do is make sure it's executable. Um, this is just so we can actually execute the file, which is duh. Um, so the way we do this is we type in chmod plus x, which makes it executable, and then the name of the file. There we are, and if we ls, it should be a different color, which is good. So what we need to do now is we need to fully log out of the system. So we can just exit, exit, and then we need to reconnect to it. The reason for this is we now need to log in as MC admin. And we can type in our password. And then what we can do is change to the Minecraft directory that we've created. And then we're going to create a new screen session and call it bucket. What screen is, if you're not aware, is um, it basically allows you to record the current screen. Um, it might not be the best way of describing it that. Um, but the reason for that is when we actually run the Minecraft server, it's going to be running. But if we then try and exit out of that or close the SSH connection, we won't be able to get back into the server to make any changes to the commands. So if we create a new session, um, we can then transfer into that session to then be able to control everything. So that's why we're giving it the name Bucket. And here we are, we're in a new screen session. You should be able to see it says screen zero, which is good. So what we need to do is we need to actually run the Bucket server. So the way we can do this is we can type in Java and then this, which is um, the minimum, not minimum, I don't know really know what that is. Um, the, basically, these are the amounts of memory we are providing the server. Um, so I think that's maximum and then best, but I'm not really sure it's Java syntax, I don't really know. Um, and then we're going to say it's a .jar file and then bucket.jar. And we need to make sure you put no GUI because there's no GUI for it. And it should say loading libraries and then build the server and everything that we need to. Um, Okay, so once we've done that, or once everything's finished, um, what we can actually do is, um, or what I'm going to tell you how you can do is, if you are in here already and you want to get out of it and start doing normal commands, what you can do is you can do Control A, so you press Control A and then you press D, and that'll detach that session. And if we want to reconnect to it, we can do screen hyphen R and then book it. And as you can see, we can now go back to our session, which is great. Um, so there's going to be another little bit of this tutorial, which I'm going to show you, uh, which is how you can upload plugins to the server. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to need to have something called, um, let's have a look. FileZilla. Blah. So FileZilla. And we need to download the client. Make sure you download the super, suitable one for you. And once we've done that, we can open it up. So let me just bring that up for you. And we're going to create a new site. So we're going to go to Site Manager. and then go to new sites we're going to add the IP address of our server here which as you should have seen by now is um, I think that's it and the set the port which is 22 we can then choose SFTP which basically means it's going to be using it as an SSH connection which should mean all the traffic is encrypted um, and then we can type in MC admin and then our password so we can connect there and it should connect to our server which is great 
and then go into our Minecraft directory, into our plugins directory, and upload the file. So this might take a little while because I think it's a fairly large ish file, but um, it's up now. So, what we can do, just prove that everything works, is we can go to Minecraft. Um, sec, I've just got to find out where I've put it. Uh, Minecraft run. One sec. Before we do this, I'm just going to op my user because actually, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Um, so, I'm going to connect to. Minecraft, which should be popping up now. We can then go to multiplayer. We can just delete that one because that's the same one we've got. And we can add a server, which is the one we've just done. And there we are, we have a Minecraft server which you can see is just connected and um, I'm going to op cookie Chris yeah I've been opt and we're going to stop the server and we're going to start the server again um, so you should notice we've been disconnected the server's back up that's fine but the reason we did that is now we can see the world edit plugin which we've just created is actually enabled and um, so you should actually be able to use it I'm not really sure how you do it it's just the first plugin I found but as you can see we now have our own actual um, bucket server which we can have plugins on and stuff so I hope this video has been useful um, if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to find out how you can just do your own standard Minecraft server or any other kind of Minecraft servers, then please do go to wilson18.com and check out all the tutorials on there. If you want to create your own, that's brilliant. Go ahead, sign up for an account, and um, after you've done a few posts, you should then be able to create your own topics. And um, if you want to see more videos like this again, please do like and subscribe, and you'll be alerted for when any new videos come out. And... Um, Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.